Our top story tonight, a warning from El Paso police about house parties. Officials say partygoers quote risk their demise. The department is warning teens, 20 somethings and parents about the dangers of house parties and mansion parties that are promoted on social media. Police say numerous shootings and stabbings have happened at these events. ABC 7's Dylan McKim joins us live from Album Park, where a memorial was held for a 21 year old who died over the weekend after attending a house party. Dylan. Yeah, Eric Stephanie over to the right of us is that vigil. We are far away from it to respect the privacy of the family, but surrounding that vigil is family and friends of Cisco Rodriguez sharing memories and mourning the loss of him of, of Rodriguez. The sheriff's office says that Rodriguez died from a gunshot wound on Sunday morning. His sister saying tonight she did not expect to have a funeral for her brother so soon. Recent house parties in El Paso this summer have turned violent, like this one on Honey Point Drive, where four people were shot, and another shooting at a Socorro house party. Police saying five teenagers were shot after someone opened fire into a crowd. Police are warning teenagers, those in their 20s, and parents about the dangers of these house and mansion parties. They say anyone who chooses to attend the parties is doing so, quote, at the risk of their demise. Would you ever want to go to a party well, after this? No, honestly, no. I went so long last time, and honestly, there's a shooting. No, it's scary than just like being like not sober. It's harder. ABC 7 spoke with teens at Album Park to see if they were worried about going to future house parties. Um, personally, they were they were used to, and they used to be really fun, mm -hmm. but now it's gotten a little dangerous, and you can't really trust nobody. What we didn't know is that we stumbled upon a vigil for a 21 year old who died after attending a house party on Saturday. His name was Cisco Rodriguez. El Paso Sheriff said he died from a gunshot wound. I didn't know that I was going to lose my twin. His sister, Lila, said Cisco went to a mansion party and on the way home was shot. My brother ended up by dying by himself at the hospital with nobody there, no family. <laughs> Friends and family mourning the loss of a man loved by many. Again, Rodriguez was just 21 years old. The sheriff's office is still investigating his death. Reporting live at Alban Park, Dylan McKim, ABC 7.